Welcome back, X people. My name is Kevin Lyons. I'm Augustino Zoya. This is a social experiment I like to do where I force my best friend here to watch a movie he wouldn't normally watch. And what better movie than the sequel to the movie he hates the most, Deadpool? This is THM on the rocks. Spoiler alert! So Deadpool 2 opened up this weekend, a sequel that I was really excited for. I loved the first movie. You hated the first movie. I hated it, like a lot. Here's like everyone else, and then there's me. So I, I, I mean, I get that I'm like the only person on the planet that hates Deadpool. You know what's kind of funny? You are the Deadpool of movie fans. What did you think of Deadpool 2? It was better than the first one. You thought so! You thought it was better than the first Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Really? Let me tell you this, okay? I would actually watch this movie. Really? In the yeah. theater? Yes. I'm almost like, maybe I'll wait till I see it on a plane. But Deadpool Part 1, I've only seen once. Really? And I've never seen it ever again because I had no desire to watch it again. But this movie, I would watch it again. And soon. I am pleasantly surprised. Don't be. Because the reason I want to watch it so soon is because there's some confusing things for me. What did you find confusing about Deadpool 2? The confusing part is... The whole time travel. We need some whiskey to talk about time travel. This makes time travel make sense. So, Deadpool dies. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, that's not even a, a spoiler alert because he dies like 19 <laughs> times throughout the movie. That's not even a spoiler alert. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. The whole point of Cable coming to this dimension in time in the movie is to kill that kid. Yes. Because that kid grows up to kill his family. Yeah, and not just his family, a whole bunch of it. He became like a super villain. Deadpool jumps in front of the kid. Yeah. Takes a bullet. Yep. The kid realizes, you know, he should be good. Yeah. To sum that up. Yeah. Then when Deadpool comes back from the dead, <laughs> we're in a different time dimension because Cable had went back and done things differently. Now, Cable's here with the teddy bear not burned indicating his wife and kid didn't die. Yeah. If they, like, basically fixed the problem, like the kid it didn't become yeah. a villain. Yeah, yeah, okay. And his wife and kid didn't really die. Yeah. Then why did they end up back in the same exact place with Cable trying to shoot the kid for a second time in the alternate reality? It's a fucking movie. Did you like it? No. <laughs> I should go back in time and explain the movie better to you before we started this. <laughs> Fuck time travel. What did you like better about this movie than the last movie? There was more action, more yeah. entertainment. Definitely. Um, better jokes. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying that the jokes were good, they were just better than the first one. It makes me hate, like, audiences more. Yeah, because the, the audiences are stupid. General America is stupid. I'm sorry, yes. but you are stupid. I'm stupid too. Like, so the only reason why you want to go back and see this movie is so you can understand why you hate it. Yeah, that's mostly why I, why I would have watched it again. Just give it to me. What are the things that you hate about Deadpool 2? Well, one of the things I don't like about Deadpool in general is I don't like how often they break the fourth wall. Oh, and I don't want to it. That's like some of the best parts. I know that that's like Deadpool's thing, yeah. and it stays true to the character, but I personally don't like that about Deadpool, part one, part two. In part two, it worked a little better for me, but it's still like, wears out its welcome. They do it so often that like you almost see it coming, and you can kind of predict the joke. I like it because it connects to the audience a little bit more. It makes it feel like you're watching this movie with Deadpool and he's making fun of it with you. Let me go ahead and correct you. It's not like you're watching a movie with Deadpool. It's like you're watching a movie with Ryan Reynolds. Yes, that's that's what it is. Listen, bro, the first half of this movie was really weak. There's a it's a lot of a, a lot of shitty movie up front. The first part of the movie, the whole opening was eh. That was the worst part of the movie for me. But once the opening credits happened, I was sold for most of the movie. The only other problems I would say would be like the pacing. There was a lot of stuff in this movie which isn't necessarily bad because it is Deadpool. He is a parody. 
He makes fun of himself, he breaks the fourth wall. I get yes. that. And, and, and in that, you're allowed to have a different type of story structure, you know, than typical movies. And that's where I give it a lot of forgiveness. But everything else after the credits, I really liked. It was just a lot. And you can tell, you can see that they were trying to cut corners just to get to different plot points. I liked all the characters. I liked the misdirection that the trailer did. They made it, they made X Force feel like it was going to be a bigger part of the movie, but all the characters died. And like, as soon as they started landing, they Five all fucking seconds of died. Their, of their first mission. I will say, I feel really bad for Terry Crews. It looked like he was going to have some action in this movie. Nope, motherfucker died, got hit by a bus. <laughs> that was it. As soon as he landed, I was just like, oh man, you can't do Terry Crews like that. Overall, I will say what I do like more in this movie than the last movie for sure is that this movie had a lot more heart than the last movie. Kevin, yeah. what did you like about the movie? <laughs> Not a whole lot. I mean, just some nitpicky things. A lot of it has to do on the technical side where they're like, Ryan Reynolds is in the mask and you can tell that a lot of his dialogue was ADR. It was recorded after they did the movie. So, so you can tell a lot of these one-liners were just like, it didn't. Some of it didn't even feel like it was recorded, like he while he was wearing a mask. You're like, you know how you, sometimes somebody can talk, you can hear this. And I felt like some of his lines just sounded like this, even though he had the mask on. Right. And you can tell that they were just doing it last minute. A lot of ADR. Work. A lot of ADR. Work. I thought that throughout the movie, like this was ADR. And yeah. That was ADR. And even some of his in the opening that we're talking about that we didn't really necessarily like. Some of his lines in the mask sounded like it was a completely different actor saying them. Didn't even sound like Ryan Reynolds. And I hated with some of those one liners like when he popped out of the coffin he's like do not go in there he's taking the Jim Carrey he's Ventura line right and it just sounded it just like so bad but at the same time like Deadpool would want it to be bad listen let me ask you something yeah who are some of your favorite characters I liked Cable, although I felt like his character wasn't introduced in the best way. I felt like they, they, they kind of just forced his introduction because it was like that point in the movie. like, hey, we have to introduce the fucking villain type of guy. We got to introduce him right now. And you didn't have a lot of time to, you know, it was just, it felt awkward. But I thought uh, Josh Brolin fucking knocked it out of the park. I thought he was great. great. I love Josh Brolin. I agree Brolin. with all of that. You made a good point. Like, they did kind of introduce the villain a little weird. And it it was, felt forced. It was, it did yeah. feel forced. You're very right. And, and, but you are right that, that he did an excellent job. I actually really liked Cable. Yeah. I liked his character. You know who, who it reminded me of? Josh Brolin. Cable, this movie reminded me a lot of Sandman and Spider-Man 3. Which is just like, it's a villain that you're also kind of like, yeah, but he lost his family. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then at the end, he's like kind of like a good guy. Yeah. And then he's like running on top of trucks and shit in the city. It was yeah. very Spider-Man 3. We already said that X-Force got wasted right away, which is kind of funny, I, except for Domino. I thought she was cool. I liked how they showed her power with all like, uh, like the sequence of events, kind of like the butterfly effect. How she like, she just did something, like she took out a guy and that guy, while he was falling down, he knocked over something and that thing knocked over something and that thing knocked over something because, and uh, it opened up a, like a door for her to walk through. Her superpower is luck. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. But at the same time, it's also like a, like it puts, it, it, it's just like, why can't she just fucking defeat the bad guy every time if she can just use luck? Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? I, like, I thought the same thing when, like, when she got in the truck and then, like, the guy's gun to shoot her didn't work. I'm like, oh, that's because she's luck. Yeah. But when she tried to hit the brakes, the brakes went out. I'm like, what happened to her luck, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> I love seeing T.J. Miller. Yeah, he's great. I always love T.J. Miller. He, he was, he was actually, I thought he was funnier in this than he was in he the was last one. He was funnier in this than yeah. the last one. T.J. Miller's been killing it lately the last couple weeks and it makes me fucking laugh. Um, I love Skarsgård, bro. <laughs> I love Bill Skarsgård. I do too, but there wasn't enough of him in there yeah. for you to really love. It but... was really unfortunate that like he didn't even really have lines. <laughs> and it's but he like... killed Peter! What the fuck? He did. Did you like Peter? Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> I really, I really like the, the, I don't know his name, the Indian kid who's a taxi driver. Oh, uh, Dopinder. Man, he was, he's, that, that kid nailed it. Like, yeah, he was funny. great. All right, we're running out of whiskey and shit to talk about for Deadpool 2. Anything else, any last words you want to say? It's my final score. Final Three. score. Solid six. Solid six. And that's on the Ago meter. On the, I'm actually, I'm actually proud of you, man. A solid six. And you gave the first movie a four. Good for you. Bottoms up, buddy. Anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for THM on the rocks. Don't Why forget are we out of time? What? Who's timing us? I am what? It's 
Did YouTube call? Why? <laughs> YouTube was like, you know what? You guys are down to five minute reviews. <laughs> we should be. Hey guys, thanks for cruising by the channel and checking out our review. Don't forget to click like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you guys thought about Deadpool. And if there's a movie that you want to suggest me to force Augustino to watch, type it down below. And I will fight tooth or nail until I inevitably end up watching it. Don't forget to check out our trailer for Swayze, a short film I directed starring me and Augustino. Stop it, stop it.